All right. So we talked about Lapita Nyong'o at the beginning of the show. Gilbert Arenas uh, verbally attacking Lapita Nyong'o's dark skin and her appearance as well, um, saying that um, uh, she's ugly and to have sex with her, he would have to have the lights off, things like that. Um, very abusive. We talked about Emmett Till. Uh, this past Tuesday would have been Emmett Till's 76th birthday if a white woman had not lied on him. Uh, next, I want to go to this story here. Uh, we're going to talk about um, Essence Magazine in a few minutes. I want to go to this story here. We posted this on our Facebook fan page, the African History Network. I think it got over a thousand likes. Um, this is about Dallas Cowboys, uh, former Dallas Cowboys wide receiver. Uh, Lucky Whitehead, Lucky Whitehead. Okay, now he ain't, he's not a household name, so don't feel bad. Um, but he was cut from the team because he was wrongly accused of shoplifting. Okay, he was wrongly accused of shoplifting. Dallas, he was wrongly accused of shoplifting. Okay, um, Dallas Cowboys wide receiver Lucky Whitehead was wrongly implicated in a shoplifting arrest in Virginia last month. All right. So uh, NBCnews.com has this article from July 25th, 2017, about uh, former Dallas Cowboys wide, wide receiver Lucky Whitehead. OK, he was cut from the team because he was wrongfully accused of shoplifting. Now, I saw the initial story before this that said he was accused of shoplifting. I said, this doesn't make any sense. And I, I didn't know about him before the story, but I said, this doesn't make any sense. So Dallas Cowboys wide receiver Lucky Whitehead was wrongly implicated in a shoplifting arrest in Virginia last month, okay, which would have been June 2017. And this was re, uh, confirmed uh, this past Tuesday by Prince William County uh Prince William County Police. Uh, and this was an incident that apparently led the, the Dallas Cowboys team to drop him, to cut him from the team just hours after a training camp practice um, this past Monday. Now, in a statement about the mix up, uh, police said they acted in quote unquote good faith when they initially investigated the case involving uh, Lucky Whitehead, whose actual first name is Rodney, but they pledged to work with the Prince William County Commonwealth's attorney's office to officially a clear um, uh, Lucky Whitehead, who played for the Dallas Cowboys. Now, this bizarre episode started when someone stole items at a Wawa convenience store uh, on June 22nd, 2017, June 22nd, 2017. OK. And um, a clerk pointed out the suspect at the scene of, uh, at the scene, according to police. Now, the suspect did not have identification on him, but he he verbally provided a name, date of birth and uh, a Social Security number that matched Lucky Whitehead's. OK, so. Lucky Whitehead does not know how they got his information, uh, especially his social security number. Date of birth, you can get that off of Wikipedia, okay? But social security number, he doesn't know how they got that. So police officers verified the information through the, uh, through, through the state's Department of Motor Vehicles database, and they compared the photo of the 25-year-old Lucky Whitehead in the uh, Department of Motor Vehicles database with the man arrested, okay? Now, I haven't seen a photo of the two to compare them. I haven't seen a, a, a photo from the license of Lucky Whitehead compared to a photo of the suspect, all right? So the suspect was let go and given a July 6, 2017 summons to appear in court on a misdemeanor uh, on a misdemeanor petty larceny charge after the items were determined to be less than $200. Police apparently had no reason to believe the man they questioned at the time was, uh, was not Lucky Whitehead. And they told, uh, and they reported this to the Dallas uh, Morning News uh, this past Tuesday, that he doesn't know 
who could have uh, lucky whitehead said he doesn't know who could have obtained his personal information and feels hurt that the dallas cowboys team did not give him a chance to clear his name either okay now we know that they have been under scrutiny in the past two or three years because of bad conduct from players but if this had have been oh let's say tom brady i don't think he would have been cut from the team okay this has been tom brady or drew Brees. If this had been Brett Farr when Brett Farr was playing, if this had been Eli Manning, or if this had been Peyton Manning when he was playing, I don't think this would have happened. I don't think you've been cut from the team. Even if it was um, um, Stafford plays for the, the, uh, the terrible Lions, okay? Matthew Stafford, quarterback for the Lions. I don't think this would have happened either. Very interesting. So, um, Lucky Whitehead is from Manassas in uh, Prince William County, okay? And Police Sergeant Jonathan uh, Perrock told NBC News, uh, quote, we have no idea how the man had obtained that data, okay? We have no idea how the man obtained that specifically Social Security number. Um, date of birth, you can get on Wikipedia, but specifically Social Security number. So at this point, the police department is also confident in confirming that Lucky Whitehead's identity was falsely provided to police during the investigation. Police said in a statement, the police department is currently seeking the identity of the man involved in the incident. OK, and this is as of uh, the article from July 25th, 2017, which was uh, this past Tuesday. OK, uh, so the police department said that they regret uh, uh, the uh, the impact uh, that the incorrect information had on Lucky Whitehead. So um, David Rich is uh, the agent to Lucky Whitehead. And he said police dropped the ball during the investigation and is disappointed by the error. OK, he said police dropped the ball during the investigation and is disappointed by the error. He said it cost my player his job okay and he deserved better from law enforcement we all do and he, he made this statement in the email so uh whitehead was eventually alerted to his involvement in the case when the man who claimed to be him was absent during a court hearing and a warrant was put out for whitehead's arrest okay so it's probably a bench warrant uh, probably was called a bench warrant okay so imagine this. OK, he does. Lucky Whitehead didn't know this transpired until a warrant was put out for his arrest because the actual suspect did not show up to uh, court. All right. So Whitehead maintained his innocence uh, when the news broke and said he wasn't even in Virginia when the incident occurred. He wasn't even in a, in Virginia when the incident occurred. He said, I don't know who got arrested in Virginia, but it wasn't me. I never once had an altercate. I never once had an altercation with the cops and come to find out um, this happened. They say at 1 34 a.m. at a Wawa in Woodbridge, Virginia, on a day that I was in Dallas until 11 20 a.m. OK. And he uh, made this statement to CowboysHQ.com, CowboysHQ.com. Now, the Dallas Cowboys uh, executive vice president, uh, Stephen Jones, uh, said in a statement this past Monday, July 24th, that Lucky Whitehead was cut after he was given, quote, a lot of different chances along the way going back to last year. Uh, he said, I think we just decided it was time to go in a different direction. OK, I think it was just decided it was time to go in a different direction. Now, Whitehead joined the uh, team in 2015 with a three year, one point five, eight million dollar contract. Also, um, he also made headlines recently for saying on social media that his dog was stolen and taken for ransom. Uh, the dog was later recovered. Uh, Cowboy spokesman did not return an email 
seeking comment following the announcement of Whitehead's innocence. That's at the time of this article. And Whitehead told, um, Lucky told the Dallas Morning News on Tuesday, July 25th, that he doesn't know who could have obtained his personal information and feels hurt that his team didn't uh, give him um, the chance to clear his name. Uh, he said, let's not sugarcoat anything. I was pretty much being called a liar. OK, and it appears that way. Um, he said, I was pretty much being called a liar when asked whether Whitehead would seek his job back or why the team has kept other players who have courted controversy, including star running back Ezekiel Elliott. His agent declined to comment. Um, and. Uh, Rich said, I've got thoughts, but probably uh, his agent um, said, I've got thoughts, but probably best I don't share. Them. OK, so we have a good ending to this story because it's being reported that uh, he was uh, lucky. Whitehead has been picked up by the New York Jets uh, It's being has been reported that lucky Whitehead uh, is, is uh, being has been picked up uh, by the New York Jets. Uh, off of a waiver and that, that uh, let's see, I saw that article um, earlier today. So we'll give you um, the reference for that. Um, New York times has an article. Uh, New York times has an article about that. Um, Lucky Whitehead claimed by Jets after mistaken identity saga, July 26, 2017. You can check out that article from the New York Times. Lucky Whitehead claimed by Jets after mistaken uh, identity saga. OK. And it says a man used Whitehead's identity to steal forty dollars worth of food and drink from a convenience store in Virginia last month. So over all this, he loses his job with. Uh, the Dallas Cowboys. Okay. So maybe, you know, uh, now if, if, if the New York jets end up playing the Dallas Cowboys and the jets win, you know, that's going to be, uh, uh, some revenge for, uh, for lucky whitehead. That's going to be some revenge, uh, for lucky whitehead. Uh, if that happens. Okay. So I guess we can say that this story has a uh, uh, happier ending or somewhat of a happy ending. So that's a good thing. Okay. All right. You listen to the uh, African History Network show right here on um, Blog Talk Radio and um, uh, the African History Network. Okay. So we'll be back in a few minutes. When we come back, we're, we're going to go to um, this other story also dealing with um essence magazine essence magazine we'll talk about that when we come back from the break